Hey guys, it's Paul here. Um, I just realized I had to redo this video because I forgot a very important dream. So now it's a three-part, not a two-parter. And uh, the first dream I had, this was interesting because last night I, uh, I, I like to watch MMA wrestling and stuff like that and MMA fighting. And last night I went to bed, I guess, watching a bit of it and in the middle of the night, right after three in the morning, I saw a man down on one knee, ready to go. Like kind of like sometimes in the UFC, you see guys down in that stance, but in the dream, it was Archangel Michael, and he was in a ready to go stance, and it was awesome. Very powerful visual. I, I know for a fact, I'm not gonna find any pictures of what I saw, but it was unbelievable. So that was like a flash vision. And then it jumped into the second dream. And the second dream was kind of different. So I, I don't remember everything of it, but I do remember at the beginning of the dream, I seemed to be uh, surrounded by soldiers. And I was under the impression that I was in an ambulance. But as the dream progressed, it turned out we were in a, a transport, a military transport vehicle. The kind you see in movies that can have up to 10, 12 soldiers in the back. So that was like the beginning of the dream and everybody was like, they were cocky and pumped up and they were ready to go, you know? But then the scene changed and something happened, which I didn't see what happened, but suddenly we were in what looked like university dorms and everybody was in lockdown. And the only movement, they, they were allowed to come out of their rooms, kind of like in a cell block of a jail when the doors are open. They're allowed to move on the range, but they were they were in a lockdown situation. And then that was the end of the second dream. And the third dream was, oh man, this was a strange one because the I had forgotten the first one. The second one, I didn't think it was that important at first because it was, um, I didn't remember it all. But the third one, uh, I also, what it was is that I saw myself and my wife enter um, a church and we could see a pastor or a priest speaking in the front not really sure what type of religion or whatever it was but there there was a person in the front speaking to a very large audience and there was standing room only in the back so as he was talking something got my attention at my left and it was a young man who seemed to be in his early 20s and uh, he began to manifest like he started to he was trying to talk to me, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. And I took a couple of glances in his direction. And the first time when I looked, his body began to contort from a normal, physical, healthy person toward the positions of a handicapped person in a wheelchair. Like the hands and the feet weren't straight anymore. And he began to like crouch down in his chair and he was really trying to yell something at me, but he was having trouble pronouncing his words. And the person on the other side of him got upset with me. And I looked at him, I said, what? And he's like, what did you do to get him mad? And then ev everybody, including us, started to look at the front for something was about to happen. And what it was is a woman in a red nightgown came around the altar so I guess it was the setting of what you would have seen in a Catholic church, like where the priest would stand behind an altar. But in this dream, she came from around it and out of nowhere, a bed appeared and she took off her nightgown and her upper body was nude and you could see her breasts and she got into bed with the priest and the dream ended. And this, it was almost like my spirit yelled out in the dream, Hora Babylon, Hora Babylon. So that was the end of those three dreams. So this is what came to me. As I, at first I went to work like ignoring this, but the Holy Spirit wouldn't leave me alone. So throughout the day, I got cut off four or five times by vehicles, me and them, my work partner. And each time the license plate had a triple three on it and it blew my mind like, wow. So that, you know, God's trying to get my attention. And then a second, then a third, a fourth, fifth time. And I'm like, okay, God, you got my attention. Like, what is it? And then 
the Holy Spirit began to interpret the dreams for me while these incidents were happening. And I worked with a guy who's a total atheist. And I kept telling him, oh, wow, this is getting more serious. So he listens to me, but he doesn't believe what I'm saying. So then finally I saw my confirmation car. I knew, okay, God wants me to put it out. And with each cutoff, because he was driving and he was losing his mind. And I knew it was an urgency. It was like God was trying to tell me, like, you have to share this. And there's a reason for it. So as the day was progressing and the Holy Spirit was telling me what each dream meant, number one, first dream, Michael is ready to go. Second dream, there are a lot of people that have, maybe through family or involvement in wars or whatever, they have way too much trust and uh, they think the military is going to save them. Well, the Holy Spirit told me they were thrown in jail, so they have no power over supernatural things. And then the third one, the Hur of Babylon, is the main influence in all of the churches that are corrupted in, on the earth. So you better trust in God and Jesus only, because these man-made, man-influenced, and man um ideal ideologies behind their churches there are a lot of churches right now that are saying things are good when they're not good and they're supporting political agendas when they shouldn't be and that's where i'm going to leave it but god wants you to stay close to him and that's the three dreams i'm sharing and god loves you very much i love you too but god loves you and wants to save each and every single person he can before his return. So I love you guys. Talk to you soon. And see you either in next video or in the air. Bye.